Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. So let me show you the shells that we use. I have been using these shells for years. My mom used to make these when I was growing up as a child. And so they are flour shells and you just bake them in the oven. I accidentally overbaked these just a little bit, but this is Howard's plate and he has lettuce, ground beef, salsa, avocado, sour cream, and cheese and beans on his. I made just a small can of beans for him. Uh, these are uh, charo beans and they are by HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. This is my plate. I have um, just meat, cheese, salsa, and lettuce on mine. For dessert, I made Rice Krispie treats and we've already been digging into these. These are um, bakery style Rice Krispie treats and I did record a video on these a while back ago and I will make sure to leave that link for the video in the description box. My recipe uses extra butter and extra marshmallows and they are so good. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, today is Memorial Day and Howard decided to grill some um, ribs, some jerk ribs. So he seasoned the ribs and then we are trying out this jerk barbecue sauce for the first time. Now we usually like Walker's wood and um, I mean, we'll see how this tastes. And then he did the ribs, I made the sides, I made some kale and cabbage stir fry. So I just used one bag of this shredded green cabbage and a bag of organic shredded kale. I chopped and fried up some bacon um, and then I also added this to the mixture and it is really good. It's better than bouillon um, sauteed onion so a little bit of this goes a long way. So I use this and this is like a paste so it's not dry. So I use that. I also use some garlic salt as well. And then I also made some rice and peas and I do have a recipe for this on our channel and I'll link it in the description box. Howard loves rice and peas and I never actually had them before I met Howard. So there's coconut milk in here and there's also chicken broth. If you're not big on coconut, the coconut is not very strong at all and it's really good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so it has been cool and dreary and rainy here in Texas, so I was craving some comfort food. So I made chicken and dressing casserole, which is one of my favorite meals that my mom used to make when I was growing up. I did record a video on this a while back ago, and I'll make sure to link it in the description box. I also made some deviled eggs, some green beans, and some homemade mashed potatoes. In the oven, I've got this peach tart that I picked up from Trader Joe's on my last haul. It is in the oven right now, so when it comes out, I will come back and show you guys uh, what it looks like, how it tastes, all that good stuff. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and I'll be back with dessert. Okay, so here is the tart. I baked it for 30 minutes, and you're supposed to bake it on a cookie sheet. I know I have an old cookie sheet, but I love it. And so I cut out a little piece here. I'm serving mine with Cool Whip and I did taste it and it is good. It does have a good flavor. There is cream at the very bottom um, of the pie and you can definitely taste the cream. I don't know what the cream is, um, but it's good. And the peaches are really good, fresh. The crust is really flaky and crispy. So this is our dessert and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having tempura shrimp and this is my favorite shrimp from Aldi. I just popped in the air fryer for nine minutes at 380 degrees and flipped it halfway. It comes with dipping sauce, a soy dipping sauce, so we're having that. I also made some fried rice using this Kikkoman seasoning mix and here it is on the plate. It really does taste like restaurant style rice. I didn't follow the directions exactly. I didn't add bacon to it and eggs. I just, add, yeah, eggs. I just added um, green onion, 
And then I stir fried some fresh broccoli and olive oil and garlic salt. Salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so quick and easy dinner tonight. Pulled this from our freezer. I picked it up on a recent Trader Joe's haul, so I'll make sure to link that in the description box so you can check it out. This is, that is my child in the background playing, but this is new to us. And here it is on the um, baking sheet. So I will say that the prosciutto comes in a separate little package. So after you cook the flatbread, then you add the prosciutto on. And also, just an FYI, this pizza has to sit out on the cabinet for at least 20 minutes before you even bake it. So it's not something you can throw into the oven and just go. And you also have to cook this at 450. So just an FYI, and it is pretty small. Um, so Howard and I are gonna cut this in half and actually a serving size is a third. And like I said, it's probably about eight inches long, 10 inches, not very big at all, pretty small. And then with it, I am just serving a Caesar salad and this is the Caesar salad kit that I'm using. It's from Aldi. And so we'll just serve this at the table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.